anybody, you know? <laughs> and it slipped off. Yeah, it's either that or a chicken coop for really tall chickens. Or a big cupola. Yeah, there we go. Well, well, they're really big barn. Oh, okay, well, then. but you know what? We turned around, and it turns out if they'd have turned around, they'd have found out that there really is a big a barn. A big barn. <laughs> you know what? Maybe the bus was there, and they couldn't see it. Right, right. I think it could have been. Yeah. Move this bus. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening here? Well, somebody told us a story about what was going on there. Do you remember what that was? Something about double doors, swinging doors, sliding yeah. doors. Yeah, yeah. I saw a lot of skeptical looks when they were I talking about that. I, yeah. right. so, so I took a closer look and I figured out what was really going on there. What'd you find okay. out? What happened was the bank caved in, no. and it pushed the barn back, All right. and they put the new foundation in, but now the barn wasn't on the foundation, so they added another post to get the barn back on the foundation. No wonder. Uh, I, it was, uh, puzzled me. Uh, this is smart. This is just from one smart barn repairman there. <laughs> what, what's going on here? Twisted. This, yeah, this is what I'm really confused by, you know. The fact that it's a newer barn, I think, is the explanation for why he would have got three posts too short. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just don't make them in the lengths like they need them. Yeah, you know? well, it could be. That could be the problem, too. <laughs> I thought somebody was going to get the tennis shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy, I, mean, I heard he was covering the president. It says, weapon free zone. <laughs> Well, I suspect that he might have been doing something else because, after all, this is the well-known and famous Dapper Dan. Oh, Dapper, not, yes, Dapper uh, Dan. Is it not Dapper Dan, right? Yeah, Dapper Dan well, from down south. If, if you look at Dapper Dan's do, yeah. it looks like Dapper Dan's do might need a little work, right? So I think what he was yeah. reaching for was... Let me see. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. The Princess World Bank Hair Tonic Restore. Come on, Dan, give it up. <laughs> it works on all parts of hair, right? Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. just on the top of your head. What I thought was kind of interesting, though, was that what happens to hair tonic that it needs to be restored? I don't know. <laughs> Once it's gone, it's gone. Yes, well, I thought, you know. We'll have to talk to Dan about that later. We'll have to talk off the record. Now this must be that, that, that this is a quilt barn or well I you know I was curious about that but it turns out the reason that quilt's on there all right is is this is an adaptive reuse barn oh yeah, it's, so it's a it's bed and breakfast bed and barn. breakfast barn yeah I see yeah. okay I thought maybe hanging the laundry out you yeah right. and you know what else we we're always talking about barns that have like. German influence right. and English influence right. and Dutch influence, right? You know, right. Yeah. this barn was really, really interesting inside because it has Japanese, Japanese influence. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're going global. Yeah. We're going global. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't realize the Japanese had settled in this area. I, me neither. Me neither. See what that canal could bring in? Yeah. <laughs> now, the other thing that I thought was really interesting about this place was the fact that they had such great technology going yeah. on, and it was, you know, all based on agriculture, you know, and so I thought, you know, how do they keep all of this stuff running, you know? How do they keep so it running? Did you look around to see yeah, if you could pass I, I, kind of, I kind of saw some things over yeah. there. What I thought was really impressive was these Japanese circuit boards. I saw that. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that is an early version. That eBay would love to get that. <laughs> yeah, I think it might, I don't know if it's an Apple or an IBM. I or, don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite the wiring job. See the circuit board, right? Yeah. And, and big wire nuts, too. Right, big, big. <laughs> and the other thing I thought was interesting about this barn. What? You know how I'm always telling people that every time you go out on a barn tour, you learn something? All the time. You, know, it, you the time. I, I do, and you do, everybody does. Even Rick learns something. Yeah, all the know? time, Rick does, yes. Well, what I didn't realize was that the Underground Railroad ran through yeah, it did. this area. It did. And it was where this barn was built. You're right. Because I went downstairs and I did some investigating. What'd you find? I found a tunnel. I found a tunnel too. <laughs> uh, did you go through it? Uh, well, I tried. I saw skateboarders. They were using it. When I... <laughs> this is West Coast and the East Coast. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And, and this, this was... Chickens, really? Yeah, that's what you know, I thought, I mean, you know? Really? <laughs> like, well, that explains it. <laughs> but the painting, I'm 
almost thinking cows. You yeah, know? right. Spotted right, cows, right, no. Yeah. But they wanted you to know it's chickens. No, I think what that's supposed to be is a sky scene. Oh, those are oh, clouds, oh, okay, the blue okay. sky, you know, the, the chickens are happy. For the creative type. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. right, yeah. You know what I think that's what this is for? What? Because chickens tend to sometimes get an identity crisis thing going on. Uh, yeah, I've and heard so, that pieces of tart story. Right. You know? So when they let them out, they get lost because they don't remember oh, where they are or where what they, they are. Go back. Right? Oh, right, right. So when they come back, they see the sign. It says chicken, you know, and they go, oh, yeah. And they go in the coop. Yeah. Huh? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on this I'm, one. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. And this, I mean, that ramp up to that door. I mean, it's a little overkill. No? I would think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the thing that confused me about this one, though, what was that Rick was telling me? No, Rick. Danny was telling me that there was these bridges at this barn. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm a little confused because do you see any bridges? I don't see any bridges. I don't see any bridges. So yeah. you know, so I'm thinking, what are they talking about? Yeah. Right? I don't know. So I go inside of the barn, and all of a sudden, it makes sense. You saw something? Yeah, because what yeah. happened is there was a bridge and they built the barn around it. Yeah. <laughs> You're right, no, but yeah, I can see that. Yeah. 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 It's not far from the Cuyahoga. No, that's true. You know? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And what I thought was really interesting was when they got on the next floor, did you go up before? Yeah, I went up the next floor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when you go upstairs, you realize that now this guy was having trouble figuring out what to do. One guy had this idea, the other yeah, guy had this other, idea, yeah. and they decided, ah, we'll do both of them. Everything. Let's yeah, go let's for it. Let's just go for it. All you know, pieces. something's going to work. All here. the pieces, right. right. Yeah. <laughs> and and yet, this explains why the barn was so big. Why? It was the prototype for the Coliseum. <laughs> You're right. And, and the Coliseum is no longer there. Right. And this thing still is here. Yeah, right. Well, that's, that's because it was built better than the Coliseum. That's right. <laughs> Wood versus concrete. Right. I got it. Yeah. I got yeah. it. And tradition. 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 Like you said. Yeah. Hey, Larry, you got basketball there and you got the skateboard thing behind. This is a sports barn. Uh, maybe that's it. That's right. I told you the Valley had recreation. I told you. And here I thought it was another go. part of the Underground Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But this one, they had the door shut on. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. This one, you have to be really good. You know, you have to have a motorcycle so you can there do you that loop-de-loop right. -loop thing right. in there. You know? A cycle door. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right, right, right. Now, what was going on here? Well, this, this one, one, I this one, I think I know what was happening. No, okay, you're not going to use one of those architect jokes again, are you? Well, it's not really a joke. It's just an explanation. But architects are involved. All the time. You're always uh, And you know? engineers. The engineers, yeah, too. Yeah, engineers, too. Huh? Okay. Well, you got to time, time, right? Yeah. Right. You got to overbuild right. it. Right. 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 So you want to know what happened here? What happened? Okay. This is my opinion, right? So the architect, he comes along and he says, you know, these posters look really nice with these plinths underneath. Yeah. Right? And let's do them in red. Right. So he puts these plinths underneath okay. it, right? Yeah. So then the engineer comes along. He says, wait a minute. He says, what's it going to keep these plinths to here? Huh? And then he says he's got this bracket, right? Right. So when they put these big steel straps on, okay. they bolt the plinths to the barn oh. so they don't go anywhere. No, so the plinths don't move? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. uh, I got it. Uh, I'm I sure that's what happened. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Sure it is. So you know how those guys work together. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Engineering mechanics 101. Right. Come on. Now what about here? You know, you know, Someone's I, lost. You I, see, someone's lost yeah. in the <laughs> I've seen tornado damage before, but I've never seen it so cleanly take the end right off of a barn like that. You know? <laughs> and drop it. And, 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 and drop that thing. You know? I was really, so, you know, I, you know me. I'm curious. No, you're not, no, you're not curious. So I got to go inside. I got to uh, find out where, what's going on inside. Uh, here, right? I went in too. So, yeah, so I go in. Guess what I find. What'd you find? D uh, no kidding. I knew, I knew he was perplexed. You know, Santa Claus does exist. you got to believe, Dan. I'm going to watch out for you next time. <laughs> no, you can never catch us. We're always looking like we're doing something. I told you we were going to make you a star together. <laughs> Worth the ride up from Columbus. Come on. And look at the tricycle. I think yeah. really Dan was also looking at that. He had that memories of, the, of his youth. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I, I should have got a picture of him on it. I think it probably on it. Send it home to Robin. So, Bill's Crab Shack. Well, you know, this, I've been told that this used to be saltwater when this was the great alluvial fan. Uh, well, this you, is proof. I was talking about the flood in, in 1913, okay, 1917 area. Maybe he got this high. Yeah, but then it would be. 
Phil's crawdad shack. Oh. <laughs> Now this, no, we gotta get back. one see. more even, go two back, there we go, that's it. So, what do you think was happening here? Well, actually, you know, you know Black there is an here? architect here from Ann Arbor, Michigan. No. Yeah, and it turns out that I think he had, might actually know something about farms. They let him cross over? Uh, it's Ohio? Ohio? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not wearing the architect's badge while I know. he's walking around. Oh, oh okay. You know how they okay. Are. And, you, and you know Block predates Stone. Yeah. You yeah. got that, right? Well, I was having trouble figuring it out. Okay. He pointed out to me that what, that what happened is he said the Masons okay. and the timber framers weren't coordinating their projects. No. And the Masons made the foundation too small. Oh, my God. So they had to fill in with Block. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, after they put the barn on, because it hung off the end. I, I don't think I could have figured it out if I wasn't an architect. No, I, I, I could have. You know, I, I need an architect to help me with this, right? No but, doubt. But you know what he did point but out? But you never listened to me. Well. <laughs> well Neither does anyone else no, there. No, no, no. <laughs> Touche! Babu! <laughs> But what he did point out to me what aside, did he point out to you? is the fact that the barn floor doesn't fit the barn either. No. Yeah. So next time you go in there, take a look and see, and you'll see that the barn floor actually goes about two feet past the bent. All right. All right. And it looks like what happened is when they took that barn apart, it was probably the barn that was down the hill. And when they took the roof off, because remember okay. we figured yeah, out they did yeah. that. We did. We figured and that. And we figured out it was a new floor. Right. Right. They shuffled the bents around and just put them where they wanted them. Where they them. fell, right? Yeah. yeah. So, oh. so it's like it has really nothing to do with what the barn used to be, except a bunch of old barn parts in there. I mean, look at this, huh? So I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I did this thing quick to this. So, so yeah. What I don't know. This? You're the engineer. My <laughs> <favorite>. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Whoa. Baboon. <laughs> so my feeling is that what happened. What? is the same crew of masons okay. built this foundation you mean as the last one. Okay. Yeah. Right. Because they got the piers for the posts in the wrong place. So that's <laughs> why they had to kick the posts on a diagonal to hit the pier. The pier point. Yep, exactly. That's yep. how I would have yep. done it. Yep. So they just solved the problem. And then, and then the they, them. they lynched them. They lynched the masons. <laughs> 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 Pre OSHA. Pre OSHA. <laughs> and, and the timber framers weren't much better. No, either. no. I mean, this guy it. said, I'll stop yeah. drilling mortise holes you know, when I'm I get just, it right. I'm going to keep cutting until it fits. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sooner or later, I'll hit the right yeah. spot. He got it in there, though. He got it in there. He got it in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, I think Here. that the guy that built the cupola was related to the guy that cut the timber frame. Yeah, uh -huh. because, Go ahead. well, what happened was that the barn owner hired the guy to build the cupola. Okay. Right? He goes off for the weekend. He comes back. It says, hey. And he looks at it and he says, wait a minute. I said I wanted an eight foot tall, not four foot tall. <laughs> Right? No problem. No problem. So he just puts another four feet on top of it. There you go. What's the problem? <laughs> but what I thought was really interesting about this. What did you really like about this one? Is, you know how I'm always talking about how interesting it is that when you go to Germany yeah. and you go to Austria. Right. And you go to other parts of the world, you see barn houses. Barn houses all the right? time. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I, I never thought I would see one here. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and Denny found one for us. Well, Denny, I, he was working the he was working the back roads. Uh, yeah, did you go back in the back of this one? Yeah, looked? I went in the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh wait, I, we got one more mistake. We got one more mistake. But, Sorry, we, we'll see the barn house in a second. This, all right, is, this I mean, was the other. This was the other thing I was really fascinated by. <laughs> Scraping manure, I'm aware of, but you know, pulling. Yeah, a concrete cow pie? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think somebody, a mason was on another job, and he snuck down there and yeah, dropped right. his load. Yeah. I, I think he might have been a little hard hearing, you know, when yeah. they said, could you get the screed board? <laughs> he thought they said, could you get the bobcat? Yeah. You know, yeah. because he I did mean, a nice bobcat job. I'll huh? tell you what, that's, um, I think it might be a burglar deterrent. That could be that, too. You know, you know. But you walk in like there at night with the door, you're in big trouble. But like I said, 
Hi. It turns out the thing is really fascinating yeah. is that Denny actually found a barn house. There he did. I see that. A double wide. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy paid extra for the masonry it built. You know, this was quality. I'm telling you. I think those might be lick'em stick'em stones. <laughs> yeah, they could have been. They, they could have been. But that's how afraid, you cover up a, the connection between the trailers. Right, and I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was afraid to get too close, too, you know? <laughs> so, so, so the, where, where do you think they had it? Did they have restroom facilities? In, I in, think in this was states? built before they had plumbing. Okay, before yeah. they had plumbing. Yeah, they were those uh, those trailers you used to be able to get that didn't have any plumbing, you know? Yeah. Just bedrooms and a living room. Yeah. You know? So so they had to have a privy. Okay. Right? right? And so one of the things that I thought was pretty interesting is that they must have been really happy to have the privy. I think they could have been, because otherwise, something like this, you'd have to take to a dump station. Yeah, like right. in those motor homes. Right, yeah. you know? All the way. So yeah, they had a privy. Right. And they were so happy, they decided to let the privy know you how happy they were with having it in the You sure? Property. Yeah. How yeah. do you know that? <laughs> no <laughs> way! A double seater or single? <laughs> it looks like a double to me. <laughs> looks like a double to me too. <laughs> you know, you know what they say about staying together and uh, well, never mind. So, too much information. Yeah, too much information. Too much information. Well, we just thought we'd get us back on track time wise, and we thought we'd make a little fun, make a little laugh, and have a little fun because remember, if you're going to do this and you're going to learn, you're going to learn a lot more if you're having fun. Right. So thanks for your time, folks. And enjoy what you want to do.